I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. I do this because it keeps me in the game. Since I don't get to play very often, I like to practice. If you have a set at home, you can too. If you're new to this version, there's a link below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference that you can download so you can follow along when I do these exercises. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They're to the left of these risers. They've been mixed and built into walls. That way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left in the wall. I'm going to deal the tiles. Player 1, East, will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four, or south, west, and north, will get 13 each. Okay, we're ready to check out everybody's opening hand, or dealt hand. So let's go ahead and look at the dealer, East, player one. They have two of their own flower. They're gonna get two fawn for that already. So I'll put those out and we'll get replacements from the back of the wall. So for this player, we have a pair of Norths, a pair of seven cracks, and then a bunch of single number tiles. There really is just a couple chow potential in here. Since they have two of their own flowers, that's two fawn already. I think I would probably try for the quickest win possible and go for all chow. We could even use this as a pair and leverage that, get rid of these first. The other option would be all three of a kind, but that's kind of a long shot because we only have two pair. So let's just see what happens. I think to get started, uh, let's see, one, two, three potential chows and a pair. We just need one more good potential chow in here to get comfortable. So let's go ahead and discard these first and try for all chow and two of their own flowers. Let's see what we can do for South. South has two flowers, but these are the number four flower. So they're not gonna get score for that. This is player two. Those two flowers are for player four. So they won't get score for that, but we can at least get replacements for them. I think what I would do here, they have a pair of E's, a pair of twos, and a pair of fours now. I think we should play all three of a kind. That's called all pung. And also, it is the wind of the round east. East is the wind of the round. So if they get a pung or three of a kind of east, then we can get a fawn for that, for them. So let's play all pung, which is three fawn. And then if we get that east pung, then we'll have a four fawn hand. That's not bad. Let's see what we can do for West. So for West, they have one single honor and they do have some chow potential in here. There's a pair, but they have one, two, three potential chows or even here. They do have a couple of isolated tiles with the nine and the eight crack. This single honor is probably not gonna do them any good. Right now they have no flowers and you actually get a fawn for having no flowers. So right now we could maybe plan all chow, no flowers for two fawn. Discard that first. 
Let's see what we can do for north. So north has a pair of west. That's not going to help them with score at all, really. If we can pair up, we might be able to do all three of a kind. Right now they only have two pair, so that's pretty slim. These are isolated. This is isolated. There's a potential chow, which is here's a chow or a potential chow and a potential pung. I think they're probably closest to a half flush because of the isolated tiles. I think what I would do is discard the three dot and six dot first, see if we can pair up these honors and play a half flush. Half flush is three fawn. All right, so I think we're going to start by discarding and we were going to maybe play all chow here. So let's go ahead and discard the south. And we can draw for south. Seven crack. It, let's see, we were going to play pung of the wind of the round, maybe all pung. So we need to discard something. Let's discard the nine crack. Actually, I probably should have kept the nine crack. At this early stage of the game, it's kind of hard to say what to discard, but this is a potential scoring tile. If you get a pung of a dragon, that's a fawn all by itself. So I think I want to keep that for a little while since I'm going to play maybe all pung. The nine crack might have been a better tile to keep um, because a lot of times ones and nines are discarded and if we paired up, we might have been able to get a pung out of that. But I discarded it, so we need to just move on and draw for player three or west. We got a three bam. I think here we were going to try all chow, all three in a sequence. So let's go ahead and get rid of the green dragon. So we discarded a green dragon and nobody could take a green dragon. This is not a game where you can just pick up a discard and put it in your hand. You have to expose two other tiles with it to complete a set of three. Uh, whether that set is three in a sequence or three of a kind. So in this case, we cannot pick up that green dragon. We have to draw. We got a seven bam. That's going to help them. They could either pung, pung, or chow. Seven, eight, nine, seven, nine. Get another eight bam in here for a chow. So that was a good pick. Let's discard the three dot. And we can draw for east, player one. Five dot. Okay, I think we were trying for all chow, so that was a good pick. Four, five. Eight is isolated. Here's a potential chow. Potential chow. This two is isolated. There's a potential chow or a pair. We're going to maybe use this for a pair. Let's go ahead and discard the west. Okay, so we discarded a west. We're going to draw for south, but north has a pair. So let's pung. You can take a pung from anybody. So we're going to skip turns on that one and put out a pung of west. So we're going to commit them to a half flush and we'll discard the six dot. So six dot was discarded. Nobody can take a six dot. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, down here. Chow. We can chow. Now let's just see, because you can get score for having a concealed hand. Uh, let's see, they do have two of their own flowers, so that's going to be a three fawn hand. Let's go ahead and chow. One more fawn is good, but I would rather try to win quick. Only the player who wins gets the score, gets paid. So let's go ahead and discard this. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's hold that. Let's discard the eight dot. Okay, so these are some isolated tiles. We need to get some more chow potential or chow, chow, chow. That can be the pair. They're actually looking pretty good. Let's draw for this player here. Now up here, we, we, you might think, well, why not? Pung that. We have no other pair. This hand is set up more for chows than they are pungs. 
potential here, here, and here. None of these are paired up. That's their only pair. So I would not want to claim that for a Pung for this player. We're going to draw for South. One Bam. Okay, we're looking for Pungs though. This is the other kind of the... That was the strategy for Chows, but the strategy for Pungs is you want to get pairs, not singles. Because we want a Pung here. Pung, Pung. We need, we need more pairs in here. Let's go ahead and discard the seven dot. And then we can draw up here. Now, this player does want Chows. You can only take a Chow from the player on your left. And we have a 789 there potential or a 567 potential. This maybe could be the pair. We still have to have a pair in here. Let's go ahead and chow with the 56. And then we want to discard the isolated tiles. Let's see. If we let that be the pair. That's good, but we want some flexibility here because we could pair up anywhere. I think we should go ahead and discard the eight crack and give ourselves a little flexibility with another seven, eight, nine chow potential. So we're going to draw for this player. Eight crack was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Three dot. We don't want that. And down here we can draw for east. Six bam. We're looking for chows. One, two, there's a chow. Four, five, six. That's isolated. Potential chow. Let's go ahead and discard this two crack. So they still have a potential chow here and here. This will probably be the next discard and this is our pair. Let's draw for this player here. Now if they're playing all pung. We don't want to chow that because we want to try to have a, a all pung. Now we could potentially chow it and still pung here, but chows with a pung of honors, let's say, have no score. So that would be their only score, one fawn. I think I would rather wait to pair up and play all pung. I'm going to draw seven dot. Now there's a seven dot in an exposure right now. Two cracks out as far as tiles in this player's hand. I think probably the seven dot would be a good discard. So let's now draw up here. Now here we could chow again. This is isolated. There's potential chows in there. These are isolated. And then we have a potential chow here. So let's go ahead and discard the eight dots since there is one in a discard and one in an exposure. So that'll give us more potential for drawing a pair here. We're going to draw now for north. Three. Okay, that's going to help us get to that half flesh maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and discard this eight crack. So eight crack was discarded. We can draw down here. We can chow right here, six, seven, eight. And now we can discard the seven crack. And they are ready to win on a three bam right here. One, two, three. Here's a four, five, six pair of north, and they have two chows already out in a four, five, six dot and six, seven, eight crack. So we're going to draw now up here. Seven crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw nine bam. Okay. So there's a seven, eight, nine chow, one, two, three chow. I'm kind of thinking maybe we can change our mind. Since player one, East, has two exposures, maybe we can go ahead and, and downgrade our plan and play just a Pung of East for a Fawn and then anything in here. Pungs, Chows, whatever, because we have a Chow. 
in a pair, another pair here. We can pung, pung. There's a chow. That could be a pung. All we need is a pair. So uh, let's discard the seven crack and escalate this hand. So a seven crack was discarded. We're going to draw for this player. One dot. We can discard that and draw for north. They got a three flower. So they lost uh, their no flower fawn. They didn't have any flowers before. So now that they have a three flower, which is this player's flower, they lost their no flower fawn. So we're going to draw from the back of the wall. Nine crack. We want bams. So we're going to discard that and draw for east. They drew a south. We want to stay put, waiting to win on a three bam. We're going to draw here. Nobody can take a south. Seven crack. Okay, this is an isolated tile. They have chow potential, pung potential. Let's go ahead and keep the seven and get rid of that red. Single honors are not going to help in this particular shape. So let's get rid of that valuable tile because any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. In this case, nobody's ready for it, so it was good timing to get rid of it. Let's draw for west. Six crack. That was a good pick. There's a chow. That's isolated. We still need a pair in here. There's a two crack out. Let's go ahead and discard the two crack for west. And we're now going to draw up here. Nobody can take that two cracks, so let's go ahead and draw. Five bam. Oh, that was good. There's a three, five, seven, eight, nine, chow potential or pungs. These tiles are not helpful right now, but we want to try to get them to a half flush. Let's discard the three crack and we can draw for this player. Five dot, that, that could be a good discard. Up here, south. They drew a north. That's not helpful. Let's discard the north. Nobody can take it. Now this player actually could, but they're ready to win on all chow, which is a fawn. If they pung that, then they would have only their two flowers. They would lose the point. I think we should let them stay put waiting on a three bam. Let's draw for this player. Two dot. Let's discard that for west. And down here, we're going to escalate this hand and pung. We need to get that pung of east though, because that's where they're going to get at least one fawn. So we have east, seven, eight, nine, uh, one, two, chow, potential. This is isolated. Let's go ahead and discard the seven crack. And we can draw up here. This player has a chow already, four, five, six. So I think we should go ahead and draw. We just went through, though, the second wall. We're heading into the third wall, which is the end game. Everybody should know what they're focused on as far as where they're going to get their score. So this player was playing all chow. This player is playing Punga East, which is the wind of the round. This player is playing all chow. This player is playing a half flesh. So everybody knows what they're doing. And everyone is set up pretty well, too. Let's draw. Five bam. Okay. So there's a four, five, six, and here's two potential chows. So let's give ourselves some flexibility there and discard this nine bam. We still need a pair in here. Nine bam. Woo, let's pung. Or you know what? If we pung, maybe we could chow. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. No, let's go ahead and pung. We'll pung with the nine bam there. Okay, so there's a potential chow or potential pung, potential chow. Let's get rid of the five crack. We need to start maybe getting rid of these up here. So five crack, nobody can take it. We're going to draw for east. 
green dragon. We're going to stay put with ready on a three bam. There's a green dragon. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for south. Four bam. Okay, this is where we want to get that east. Chow. Here's a potential chow on a three, no matter how you slice it. And then a potential chow or pung, one or the other. So let's go ahead and discard the one bam. And we can draw, oh, let's chow. We can chow that. They have no flowers right now, so all chow, no flowers. That's too fun. Let's see what's out. There are no five bams or six bams out. Let's discard the five bam. That's a middle tile right in the middle of the sequence and probably the most useful of all the number tiles. So let's wait on the six bam. Maybe that'll be a little better. And up here, let's draw four north. Five crack. We can discard that. And we can draw four east. White dragon. We'll discard that. And draw four south. One crack. There's some potential chow there. So we need to pung that. Here's a chow. They have a pung out. We could pung here, chow here, or chow here. Let's keep the four and get rid of the one crack to give us some flexibility here. So one crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw four west. Nine crack. That is a discard. And we can draw four north. Seven bam. Oh, that was good. Okay, now potential chow. Here's a pung. Or we can break it off and make a potential chow out of that. And then there's a pair. Let's go ahead and discard the green dragon. There are already two out. They have a risky tile now. We need to get rid of that. Let's draw four east. Five crack. That's a discard. Drawing four south. Nine dot. Drawing four west. One dot. Drawing four north. One crack. Drawing for east. One bam. Okay, now we have a pair of north four, five, six. If we discard the two, now we're ready on a one bam. There's one one bam out. No three bams are out. One, oh no, no, one of each is out because there's a one, two, three chow out. So it really, yeah, we need to get rid of the one because we're trying for all chow. We already have our pair, so we'll get rid of the one. Sure looks pretty. But that would take away an all chow point. So one bam, nobody can take it. We're going to draw four south, nine dot. And we can draw four west, three crack. Okay, let's see if we have a better weight here. If we're here, we're waiting. If without the three crack that we just picked, we're waiting on a six bam. None are out. Now, if we swapped it out and discard this, then we're waiting on either a six crack or a three crack. So one of two tiles, which is a better weight, waiting to win. So let's discard the six bam. And we're waiting to win on a three crack or a six crack. So they were able to improve their weight. Let's draw four north. Eight bam, that was a good pick. We're gonna discard that east and hold our breath. Potential chow, pung, pear. Okay, they're ready to win on a four bam. We're gonna pung the east and that's what they've been waiting for. Punging the east. So now, right here, seven, eight, nine, pair of fours. Uh, let's see, if we discard the three crack, they're ready to win on a three bam. We're going to discard that three crack. There is one three crack out, and that's Mahjong for West. Mahjong for West by this player. So I'm going to have this be 
a pear weight. We'll put it like that so we know where, let's see, pear weight, it's from this player. Let's put it here so this player threw it. There's a three, four, or a four, five, six. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven. And they have no flowers. So that's a two fawn hand. One fawn for all chow, all three in a sequence. Always got to have a pair. And no flowers. Two fawn. For two fawn, the discarder pays double. So two fawn is 500 points. So this player will owe a thousand. This player owes a thousand. And the other two players owe 500. So there's 500 there. And here's another 500 here from this player. So they would pay this player. Oops. Okay, so they ended up with 2,000 for that itty bitty chow hand. That was kind of a quick game. I think those all chow hands are pretty easy to get if you're set up for chows and you leverage those number tiles. If you're new to this game and you want to learn more, look for that link to the playlist under the video description. And don't forget about the player reference. If you already know how to play this game, let me know if you would have made any different decisions than I did. Just write them in the comment section and put in a timestamp. I have a lot to learn myself, especially when it comes to tile efficiency and value. It's a lifelong journey to master Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.